With sports betting now legal in many states, officials are seeing an alarming trend. There is a wave of sports betting on college campuses, with some students even admitting to using their financial aid to make bets. News Channel Ace Melissa Marino is in the Tampa newsroom with a look at what local universities are doing to address this growing concern. Keith and Jen, those who treat gambling addiction, they say this is such an easy trap to fall into, and college students are unfortunately very vulnerable. It's March Madness, and this season, people are doing more than just watching the tournament. This is just a really, really easy trap to fall into. Dr. Forrest Arthur, CEO of Resurgence Tampa Bay, is a former surgeon who overcame his own addiction. Now he helps others do the same. I have seen in the last three to six months several people of college age who are struggling with this. And he's not the only one noticing an alarming trend. Right now, a surge of sports betting is hitting college campuses now that people can legally bet on the game. About two-thirds of college students who live on campus are actually betting on sports now. According to the Nevada Council on Problem Gambling, one in five college students have admitted to using their financial aid money to place bets. Yet only about 25 percent of colleges and universities have policies in place regarding gambling. This is a very vulnerable population. They're out in the world for the first time on their own, really experiencing freedom for the first time. The University of South Florida sent a statement saying in part, USF's student code of conduct follows Florida state laws regarding gambling. At this time, we have not seen any recent violations involving gambling. They went on to say they monitor student behaviors for any issues. Health professionals, though, are urging universities to be proactive by educating students on the consequences and signs of compulsive gambling. It's starting to cause you problems paying your bills or meeting your commitments. You're starting to miss classes or not do as well in school because of it. Uh, people who are close to you are noticing it. I also spoke with the University of Tampa and I learned UT does not have any current gambling policies. However, they pointed out the NCAA prohibits sports gambling for student athletes. If you need gambling help, Florida has a 24 seven free hotline. That number is 1-888-ADMIT-IT. In the Tampa newsroom, Melissa Marino, eight on your side.